captured on camera. A Woodward Avenue drag racing suspect taken down by a police officer determined not to let the young motorbike rider speed away. Thanks for being here with us for the news at 6 o'clock. I'm Kimberly Gill. And I'm Damon Fernandez in for Devin Skillian. The rider and the bike all in one tackle taken down. A Royal Oak police officer made that split second decision with the weight of frustration. A lot of neighbors and business owners nearby feel with all the speeding that goes on there. Sean Lee is live at the gas station where it happened near Woodward and Normandy. Sean, there is a lot of driver drama in that area. Truly, why are we telling you about the arrest of one motorcycle rider? Because most of us drive out here, and if we're driving around, especially with our kids in the car, we don't want dangerous driving, speeding, drag racing around us. So when motorcycle riders sped up here to get away from police, and then when police pulled in, they tried to get away again, and that's when a Royal Oak police officer tackled one rider. Look at the video. He ended up tackling his entire motorcycle. Drone 4 can show you what Woodward Avenue in Royal Oak looks like on any afternoon, the moment the weather turns nice. Woodward at night becomes a rolling car show, sometimes a drag strip with engine noise that drives neighbors nuts. Last Friday at the Barrels and Vines Shell Gas Station on Woodward, some motorcycle riders at the pumps. We are told they had just blown past Royal Oak police on Woodward. Those officers pull in, those riders take off. One trying to speed off is tackled by an officer. Watch again. Just as the rider starts to move, the officer tackles him and his bike. Ken Lucido owns Barrels and Vines. You got a police officer pulling up behind you, getting out, and you're going to get back on your bike and try to go? It's unbelievable. Lucido is running a business, not a car show. Bikes and cars park at the pumps, blocking paying customers. And this tackle takedown is yet another example of driver drama that Lucido wants to see stop. They just love this corner. For some reason, this has always been their corner, but they don't understand that we're just trying to do business. We actually have a Tim Hortons coming into the parking lot mm -hmm. to push them even further out. So we'll see it, you know, in July if that actually uh, pushes them out of here. Back here live, so a Tim Hortons coming right here. That is news also. May have fewer spots and kind of help businesses, especially this business, with the situation of drag racers and people showing off their cars, taking up the spots here, big time. So let's talk about the motorcycle rider. He's only 20 years old. He's been charged with fleeing from police and he never registered that bike. It did not have a plate on it. He'll go to court in the next couple of weeks. We're live in Royal Oak tonight. Sean Lay, Local 4, back to you. Sean, we appreciate it.